Welcome to the startup grind. Where does how does one develop creativity? Steve Jobs called you a very creative person. Uh, your work is is an example of that as well. But is it innate? Is it learned? How do you develop it? Is it a muscle that that you can work on? Tell you us know, about you it. You can you can do both. So I, I think obviously uh, ability and willingness to think outside the box and to be genuinely inventive, where just uh, your imaginative and new ideas occur to you. Uh, that's probably a little bit of an ingrown, you know, a genetic or ingrown characteristic from you know how you were how you were incubated. Uh, beyond that, <coughs> uh, you you can develop the skill to be more willing to bring your ideas forward. I think a lot of people probably have ideas. Uh, you know, for example, there, I bet there were Chinese farmers 600 years ago that thought it would be a great idea to have a maritime economy, a huge navy and go see what was on the other side of the oceans. But I bet a lot of them figured that if they brought it up, they'd get in trouble. Hmm. Because it was a very patriarchal society. And if, if that society had been more like uh, Europe, then we'd all be speaking Chinese right now. You know, so you know, if you look at why Europe um, uh, accomplished what it did, a lot of it had to do with the fact that uh, there developed a uh, philosophy in Europe around uh, freedom. And it included the, uh, you know, the Christian reform and the Industrial Revolution and the Renaissance and all these things that are basically saying, yeah, we're better off when there's freedom to think and freedom to create. And you know, it, you know, we, we're very lucky to be here in Silicon Valley where it's the best place in the world for that <clears throat> in, being, in terms of being supportive. You, know, you, you can sound pretty crazy here and be completely Blend normal. right in, yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, you, you maybe you start with some intrinsic capacity for it, but then you can nurture your willpower to get out there on the bleeding edge. And then there's all kinds of skills you can develop. And you know, they've, they've learned so much now about the plasticity of the brain and the ability to rewire yourself. I'll give you my favorite personal example. I got lots of personal examples because I'll tell you, the, I've made a tremendous investment in the last five years just trying to become a different person because I wasn't happy five years ago. And you know that, that's a, a whole long story all, all in and of itself. But I'll just give you one example. It has to do with nutrition. Um, you know, no, this is not a comment against vegetarians at all, but I happen to have the taste buds that can recognize instantly how delicious a bite of a really nice steak would be. And yet I've rewired my brain to prefer salmon and broccoli because I know that it's better for me. And it, it, if, you, if you go through the stages of that, it's like, okay, well, objectively, the salmon is really salty, and broccoli has a really strange flavor. It's kind of alien. And, and you know, kids would be happy to explain this to you. Like, yeah, steak is good. The other ones are not good. I'm just going to have this. I'm just going to have a hamburger. I'm just going to have the steak. But uh, it, as I've gone through this mental process, like, step number one is, okay, well, this is how it seems right now. And then step two is, well, there's a really good reason why you should prefer the salmon or the broccoli. It'll make you healthier. Okay, and, and then you start doing it, and it starts to become a habit. And even though the non-cognitive part of your brain is still giving you the same information, yeah, the steak smells better, the, your, the cognitive side of your brain is saying, no, 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 this is better, and you believe it. And then after a while, even on the emotional side, the non-cognitive side, you're thinking, oh, yummy, yummy broccoli. Oh, f this is great. I get to have salmon. And seriously, it, it really it, this truly happened with me. And it happened in a bunch of other ways. So you, you, there's a lot you can do to rewire yourself. It sounds like a reality distortion field or something. <laughs> it's the broccoli distortion field. I wish you could coach my kids. You sound like you'd be a good coach.